The main purpose of our gathering here today is to intimate you on the activities of the command which borders on success, success is recorded from 1st January 2022 to 1st December 30, that is 31st 2022. And also to appreciate all stakeholders, head of security and sister agencies, officers and men of the command who have contributed greatly towards the success achieved during the year under review. As we are all aware, the federal government recently reopened another four land borders in April 2022. After a long time of closure, which GVM Magama border station happened to be among the reopened ones. Therefore, I'm glad to inform you that since the reopening of the border, the command was able to generate a total sum of 935 million. 306,275 Naira 39 Kobo only. Within the period under review, which is far more than 60,842,789 Naira 87 Kobo allocated as revenue target for the command in the year 2022. Moreover, in the command quest, to facilitate export trade, the command recorded pre on board FOB value of 4,426,105 Naira 600, I mean, thousand, four billion, four hundred and six million, one hundred and five thousand, six hundred and forty three Naira to Kobo for non oil commodities with a metric tons of. 69,436.77 exported through GBA Boda Magama. Also under the command's effort to suppress smuggling activities, the command was able to record 379 arrests out of the total of number of 379 arrests, 258 were converted to seizures after thorough investigations with the duty paid by Alu of 144,758,341 Naira, zero cover. The items seized include food items, foreign rice, foreign vegetable oil, foreign spaghetti noodles, etc. And the various means of conveyance, be it cars, buses, trucks, and motorcycles. Second-hand clothing, among others, Ten suspects were arrested by the command during the period under review. Some were presently being prosecuted at the Federal High Court, while some were granted administrative bail. In light of the foregoing, all this success could not have been achieved without the vigorous effort and resilience of officers and men of the command and other layers of custom formations who have been given the smugglers' sleepless night. The overwhelming support and cooperation of the security agencies, other government agencies, and the border committees can also not be overlooked. Consequently, despite the overwhelming success and achievements recorded in the year 2022, the command regrettably lost two of its officers in the course of discharging their assigned duties. We pray God Almighty to grant their souls eternal rest equally give their family the fortitude to bear the irreparable loss. I mean, also in the command's effort to improve the welfare of the officers, the command requested from the NCS headquarters, Nigerian Customs Service headquarters management, for more barracks accommodation to be provided, and it was approved. Some of these welfare packages include 49 self-contained apartments, which have been fully completed, 16 self-contained apartment projects, which are still ongoing, and other ongoing renovations been carried out in the command. Uh, some office blocks, CSE South and officers mess, however, a total of 59 projects were approved for the command so far. 36 have been completed while 23 are ongoing. <laughs> Additionally, 13 brand new operational vehicles, arms, ammunition, uniforms and kits and office stationaries were equally supplied to ease operations in the command. 
Also during the year under review, the Nigerian Customs Service Management promoted a total of 4,958 officers and men to the next rank, which the government greatly benefited from. Here, part of the activities line up for today's program, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, let me equally use this opportunity to express the command's profound gratitude and appreciation to the state government under the leadership of His Excellency Right Honorable Amidu Ben Lamasari for allocating an expanse of land to the command situated along GBA Road with the Nigerian Customs Management plan relocating the area of command in a foreseeable future. Before the year under review, the command has sour relationships with the border communities, which greatly mitigated the command's operations. But the command's sensation program efforts were able to restore peace, cooperation, and mutual understanding between the command, its officers and men, and the border communities through the established Customs Community Consultation Forum, CCCF, which has become an approved medium between the customs and the border communities in resolving issues that borders on the breaches of the Nigerian Customs Service. The command is equally using this opportunity to appeal, to appeal for sustainable cooperation and support from the general public to help in the security of our border borders and facilitation of legitimate trans-border trade. The command sincerely assure you all that your positive contributions to the successes and achievements the command recorded during the year under review is highly noticed and appreciated. And that is why one of the activities lined up today is the presentation of awards in recognition to some of our royal fathers, stakeholders that had immensely contributed to peace, progress, and successes of the command. And also to be presented with awards of recognition are some patrol teams are units of the command that have distinguished themselves in their respective areas of assigned duty. In conclusion, the command sincerely expressed its profound gratitude to the Control General of Customs, Colonel Hamid Ibrahim Ali Retired, and his management team for their continuous support and guidance. We also want to express our appreciation to the Kazan State Government and His Excellency that Honorable Amin Bella Masari, Katsina and the Emirate Councils, Head of Barrel Security and Sister Agencies, Importers, Exporters, Custom License Agents, Civil Societies, Members of the Press and the entire good people of Katana State for their marvelous support.